Welcome, Matron Down in Tobago. And joining us on set, we have Avaristus and Delisium. We're talking about the Road Track Club in uh, St. Augustine. Good morning. Thank you for joining Good us. Good morning. Thank morning, you for having morning. us. Understanding Rotarac and the Rotary family, mm -hmm. how, what is the relation between Rotarac and Rotary? Same thing, more or less. Um, Rotary is our, our parents, parent club in particular. Um, of course, Rotary is a service organization made up of persons globally. Um, so purpose is to assist persons in society. Rotaract, however, is for persons between the ages of 18 to 30 that follow that same initiative. Now, in terms of the D7030, <laughs> sounds like a really technical serial <laughs> number. What is it, Everest? It's, it's not very really technical. Uh, as Delicia said, Rotary is a global organization. So they're broken down into sections, more or less, and District 7030 would just comprise of all the countries between uh, French Guiana in the south and St. Kitts in the north. So it's all those countries that made up of, for, for Rotaract, that's 43 clubs that are in that, and District 7030 would be the name of that district. And you have DRR. Yes, I am. So we have all these names. So we have Rotary, Rotaract, and DRR. <laughs> What's that about? DRR would be District Rotaract Representative. So I represent District 7030 on the Rotaract level. So, so what do we owe the honor of the visit <laughs> of District 7030 here? Um, well, what I'm here to, well, well, part of my job is to visit all the clubs within that district, see how they're doing, see you know their status, where they'd like to be at the club, and how can I assist, as well as be part of the projects that they undertake within the communities. And that's what I'm here to do this weekend. I'm meeting with the, the Rotary clubs in the east of Trinidad. <clears throat> I'll be St. Augustine, St. Augustine West, yeah. Arima, Piaco, Iwi. And the, is it an assessment or is it just a networking? What is it about? Not really an assessment. Well, it is an assessment to a certain degree. To, like I said, to see how the club is doing, what projects they're undertaking, and how I can assist. And to be part, because I'm a representative of the district, so it's nice to be part of the projects that are going on and meet the membership of the clubs and just get an idea of the dynamics of the club and, again, how I can assist and how I can help them do better. Speaking about the dynamics of the club, let's talk a little bit about one of some of the projects that have been happening with the Trinidad Club. Mm -hmm. What's been happening? So. Um, each club um, throughout the year will undertake community service, international service, professional development projects. Um, for example, UWE, UWE, um, Piaco UWE, um, they normally keep a cupcakes for cancer where they more or less raise awareness for this month in particular, right? That is actually happening this month. Um, other clubs have um, Hungry to Help, um, where they, they more or less um, package items, food items, and they give out to persons um, on the street and those things like that. We do beautification pro projects. Um, I think um, Port Spain Club would have um, done some beautification projects in, um, on Independence Square and the Brown Lara Promenade. So projects vary from end to end, and then there are more internal projects. So we do professional development for the members themselves. Erisus, in terms of the community service projects that are going on in the DRR, um, we just heard about some of the local projects. What's happening in your district? Well, in the district, um, a lot of the projects do have the same nature, but they're done differently, as, I, as I've noticed from country to country. They get a lot of beautification projects. For example, in Grenada, they painted up a, a, a big wall where, it's, you know, in the community was an important landmark, which was you know, dilapidated a bit. So they did a beautification project there and in Ghana did some literacy programs. There are, uh, you know, donations, um, or, or, or just general, whatever the community needs, I should say. Yeah. What we do is assess what the different communities need and how we can assist. Uh, in terms of the membership of Rotaract and uh, getting young people involved, as you know, at a time when one good deed uh, is so, it's so novel and out of the ordinary here, how do we get young people to be interested in this and uh, part, partake in the leadership part of it? I think that um, what we need to do, more, more or less have the time when we do speak about Rotaract, persons are not aware about in terms of Rotaract, we always have to identify with Rotary. I think that, that this year in particular, the clubs have really gone out to, to more or less spread the word and I think it's a, it's a, a district initiative where we are spreading the word of Rotaract for, for persons to understand what is Rotaract and to see the, the value in it. Um, from the, there's a, a district website, if it is that persons are interested, you can more or less find a club near them. In Trinidad alone, we have 14 clubs. And once they're interested, you can contact them and more or less join their 10 meetings and more or less they move up inside, the, like that. 10 seconds, closing comments. Mm -hmm. We'll give it to the DRR. <laughs> well, for those who are interested in Rotaract, I mean, Rotaract is an opportunity to meet new people, an opportunity to learn some professional skills, an opportunity to have amazing amounts of fun while serving your community. So 
wants any of these things that your interest, I would suggest making retroactive priority for you. Essential having a number of initiatives, the Amica House as well as the Growbox initiative. Right. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sure, the Amica House will be today. Um, that is an initiative by the Rotary Club, the Rotary Club of Piaco Yui, where um, every evening between Monday to Saturday, at least three members go out and do homework with the um, young people at the, at the home, that's in Curep. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing a Growbox initiative, initiative with the Mesa House. That is a house that is re um, home more or less, that um, is for displaced meals um, as well as they um, also see about mentally challenged meal what we're going to do for them is assist them with um, doing some planting some crops that they will use for the home itself as well as for um, revenue those are the closing comments there and the information is on the screen we take a short break when we come back we'll have more for you and don't forget it's Friday did I tell you that Ryan Beecher will be back on set with us shortly stay with us Trinidad Cement Limited.